everybody it's Cindy A. Lewis and welcome to my channel where we're gonna see a wonderful awesome Dollar Tree haul I had to go out yesterday and just had to go by the Dollar Tree you know how that is and so I did find some new things and some things that I hadn't seen personally maybe you haven't either and you may want to look for those next time you're able to go so let's get started on this haul first i'd like to welcome you as you're watching this haul thank you so much if you're new i welcome you to my channel if you'd like to subscribe there's a little button down there and you can just click subscribe and the bell next to it will notify you next time i upload a video if you're part of my youtube family already thank you for joining and let's get started on this so first i want to show you a couple of new items that you may not have seen uh, I hadn't seen them and I can't remember if they had them last year, but they have these little saving banks and these are really, really cute and they have the slot in the top for you to save and it's just a little plastic, clear plastic on the front, plastic sides and then you can open the back, I'll show you right here where you can get to all that money you're saving. So it's always nice to put a little change aside. This one says Aloha. It would be like saving to go to Hawaii. Who wouldn't want to do that when we can? But it also, you know, could be for any vacation, right? So that's a cute one. And then this one says Adventure Money. So that can also apply to any adventure that you'd like to have. Leo Kitty, did you see him? Leo Kitty sighting. And so this is another cute one. I love the little camper. They're hard to resist, I have to say. And then this one is saving up four. And you could put anything here like education, some kind of special gift, some kind of, you know, like appliance that you need or a new computer, a new phone, whatever that might be. And then you could set aside your change and stuff in this little bank here. So these are really cute little banks and what a cute gift to give someone maybe graduating that um, could use a little something to put their money in it's just cute I don't know anyway all right well, let's go on now there have been so many DIYs with pizza pans and you know what my stores have been out <laughs> of pizza pans so I can't even use them to make a DIY but now I have two and I can't wait to get into the pizza pan craze and make some DIYs with those two pizza pans <laughs> Also, if you were over there in the kitchen section, so yeah, check at the end. Anyway, um, keep life simple. And I thought these would be fun to maybe make a hanging towel. We'll see. Um, this is the mitt, the oven mitt. Lots of fun crafts you can do with an oven mitt too. And I might should have gotten them doubles because I think I want to keep some too. But this is a really cute dish towel and I love the black trim and the wood look so kind of country you guys so anyway if you're looking for something or need something for a gift you might consider that also if you need any dish rags or rags to use for cleaning you may want some of these you get two and they're just regular rags and sometimes i run out of uh, cleaning and dusting um, racks I tear t-shirts and all that kind of stuff but um, this is car, uh, called a bar mop dishcloth and you do get two and those are nice to have for cleaning and that kind of thing all right now someone asked me about this I did see about three or four more paper pads at my Dollar Tree that's local here so do keep an eye out these are in the office supply section in my store and they have some really cute papers in there. And if you can see, they have this really pretty rainbow paper and then they have kittens right here and some cute flowers. And these are unicorns, I believe. So, really cute papers and they're nice to have. And for a dollar you get 36 sheets, so really good. And you can use them for all kinds of things. All right, now while I was there, of course I had to st check out the sticker section. And they had some really cute stickers that I I might have seen but I'm not sure now this one 
is some really cute pineapples and great for summer. I just really thought they were sweet. So I, pineapples are sweet. So I had to <laughs> get that. And then I purchased these frogs before, but I wanted to go ahead and get a second one because sometimes you can't find them anymore once you get them. The next thing that I found are these cute numbers and alpha stickers. Now this is interesting because um, you can't always find just numbers. So I did get a couple of these. These are like animal prints and you get a lot of numbers. And I didn't, I've never really seen those. And then these are very cute, black and white with gray. And they're the alpha stickers and the numbers. Whole sets. So you get 146 here and 124 here. And these are 92 piece packets. These are a little bit bigger if you can see. So anyway, yeah, if you're looking, I had not seen these before, so you may want to take a glance at that. It's a little hot here today. Is it hot where you are? I'm telling you, this is like August weather. I don't know. Okay, just a few more things. A few more things that we're going to look at. Um, they had new little glass these are eyeglass bags. It's not really a case, but this is a really cute little bag for your glasses to protect them from getting scratched. Wouldn't protect them from getting squished, but from getting squished, that is a, a real word. Um, anyway, cute pineapple bag for your eyeglasses. I did pick up a dollar sunglass. Not a fashion show, but look, ladies and guys. Is that me? Yes. Perfect. My other dollar pair broke. So, you know, it's okay when it's a dollar. Okay, now I'm working on, I want to do a beach sign. I told you about that already. And I had done uh, some that airbrush, marker airbrush painting on those frames from Dollar Tree. I did find two more things I want to airbrush paint. Now, these two come with markers, but I don't really want these markers. Um, this is so cute, these little flip-flops, and I am going to do this, and I think I'll just put a short video up so you guys can see how it turns out. And then this little palm tree, adorable. They also had a fishnet, and I think this would be really cute to add to my um, decoration that I'm doing. So I wish I had a beach house that I could put this sign at, but I'm just going to have to dream for now. Additionally, they had some more of the nautical rope. This is decorative, and this one is nine and a half feet. The ones that I had purchased before actually had 13 feet, so I don't know why this one only has nine and a half feet. However, um, I have seen some Dollar Tree DIYs that found the white nautical rope. And I have not seen that in any of my stores. So let me know if you've seen the white. All right, a couple more things. I did pick up two more of these uh, hanging wall decor signs. Uh, they are the same, but I'm going to paint them anyway. I just wanted the slats, and you do get three, so that'd be like 33 cents a piece or so. And I am going to work on that. I did find two books. This one is uh, not even sure what it's about. Something. Anyway, it's yes it is about something um it is by glenn greenwald no place to hide so i thought i would check it out if i don't really care for it or even after i read it i can make it into a junk journal so there you go and somebody did ask me what's the standard size of junk journals i don't think there's actually a real standard um other than a lot of people make them the um eight and a half by 11 size sheets on the uh, landscape on the horizontal and a lot of them are that size so it'd be like this would be your spine and and binding here and you would make your signatures which are all your pages on the inside so about this size but maybe a little bit bigger or smaller and then the junk mail envelopes that we made we use the large ones that you would mail like bills back to the companies into or you can use the smaller ones like the letter size and you can make smaller ones 
or you can do the traveler's journal size which is about um, the eight by eight size folded in half or maybe a little bit longer so there's really no like you there's no wrong way to do it you can make a junk journal any way you want okay and then this book is called sugar cube the sugar cube and it has all kinds of cool um, recipes for desserts with pictures and fun things in here um, it it is by Kerr Jensen anyway there's 50 delicious twisted treats in here so for a dollar and it's really neat and if you try them and you don't like the the recipe then you can always use the pages for decorating right because there's all kinds of pretty pages in there all right um, July 4th is coming up soon and before you know it it will be here and it is a three-day weekend so that will be nice um, July 4th is actually on Saturday and if you get the holiday it's usually on the day before when the holiday lands on a Saturday so it'll be the the third fourth and fifth so a nice long weekend and since so many campgrounds are starting to open you may get to go camping but you also may like to um, decorate your house with red white and blue and here is some window clings that I thought were real pretty so I did go ahead and pick that up you can decorate all kinds of things with that and then I picked up three of these. Uh, they're vases, and they're they're this, you know, just plain vases. And then I'm going to decorate them with some shredded paper, red, white, and blue, and uh, make them for the holiday, which I'm going to film tonight to show you guys how to do that. Then I also picked up a large mason jar now i have not seen the large ones i've always seen the small ones at the dollar tree and they have this large one which is really cool and i want to show you how to make like a little terrarium It'd be really cute so i'm gonna do that then i also picked up some of these little baskets let me show you yeah sometimes i have to let it out <laughs> anyway um these little white uh, organizer baskets I thought would be really fun for a, a, a DIY that I'm working And then I wanted to show you they do have these easel stands. If uh, you want a smaller one, they have the smaller ones and they do have the larger ones. And I needed a couple, so I did pick those up. Anyway, that is my haul. I hope you enjoyed it and that you will give it a thumbs up. That helps my channel. Thank you so much. And if you uh, would mind sharing, that would be great. And thank you for watching. Have a great night. Blah, blah, blah. Sometimes you just have to like get your mouth working correctly. Anyway, I did find two book. Oh. I did find. Blinds closed. <laughs>